In this video, we are going to set up our brand kit. This will help us save a ton of time while designing in the Canva editor. So let's go. We will be starting from the Canva home screen. So this is the home screen with the different templates. But where I would like you to focus is at the bottom of this home screen, where you see these three buttons that say home, designs and menu. Go ahead and tap on menu. From this menu, you will be able to access the brand kit. It will be the third button uh, starting from the top. So go ahead and tap on this button that says brand kit. So you will see different things here. So first you will see a plus button that prompts you to upload your brand logos. Next, you will have your brand colors. So you can create a palette, a color palette from here. And finally, you will have your brand fonts. So these are different fonts you can customize to basically create your brand kit. All right, so one important note right here. All Canva users will be able to access this brand kit, but Canva Pro users will have much more options to play with here. For example, a free user can only create one color palette and this color palette will be limited to only three colors, while Canva Pro users can create unlimited numbers of palettes and also have a limited number of colors within each palette. So this is quite uh, interesting to have more than one color palette so that you can design under different styles or even different brands within your same account. Next, something related to the brand fonts. You will be able to customize your fonts even if you are a free user, but if you want to upload your fonts, if you have a custom font that you use for your brand, you won't be able to upload it if you're not a pro user. All right, now that being said, let's go ahead and create our brand kit. I don't have a logo, but if I had one, I would just tap here and upload my logo. I could take a photo, uh, a photo of me is not really going to be a logo. I can upload from my library so I could save my logo into my phone and just uh, use it from there. Or if I created my logo in Canva, I could just simply export that and then upload it into my brand kit. For this uh, video, I don't need a logo. I just want to have my custom colors and my custom fonts. Let's start adding colors to our palette by tapping the plus button. So from here, you will be able to do two things. One is to move the little circle right here and just position it wherever you want. You see the color is changing. You can also adjust kind of like the, the temperature here on the slider and then move the circle again. That's the manual way of selecting your color. Or if you're like me and you have the hex code of your color, which is the code that defines exactly your color, uh, you can go ahead and tap on this box right here and enter your hex code. So mine is FF017E for my pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on done. And you can see now I have my color Number one, which is my bright pink right here in my color palette. I'm going to add a second color by tapping on this second box right here. And the second color is very easy. It's simply black. So for black, the hex code for black is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6 zeros like this. Good. So this is black. And finally, I will add my last color, which is white, which is super easy as well. You can type uh, six times F right here in this box or even easier you drag your circle to the upper left corner and that should be all F's and that is white. Once you're finished don't forget to tap on done right here done and there we go we have our palette. I will rename that palette and call this Ronnie's palette. Ronnie's colors. Perfect click on done and you are good to go. We have created our color palette. So that's the first step I would say in our brand kit. The second step is to set your brand fonts. So again, if you are a pro user, you will have the option to upload your own fonts, which is pretty cool uh, because a lot of brands use custom fonts. If you're a free user, don't worry too much. You can still use all the free fonts in Canva here. So 
uh, I have selected a couple of fonts for uh, my campaign, right? I know exactly what I want and I have these brand fonts that I use all the time. I'm not going to upload any here. I'm just going to work with what's in Canva. And so for my headings, I'm going to tap on this little pencil right here. And this will allow me to change the name of the font. My heading is League Spartan. Okay, so I'm just typing League, tap on League Spartan. And this is great. I can also set a size for it. I'm going to go ahead and choose 56. Okay. Once I'm happy with this, I would just tap outside of this box. And last thing, we have our headings that is League Spartan in 56. Next is the subheading. So same, I'm going to tap on the little pencil right here. And for my subheadings, I want a font called Radnica. Radnica next. So let me find it. Radnica next. We have Radnica bold, extra bold. So I'm just going to go with next. Okay. And this, um, okay, looks good. Maybe I make it slightly bigger because I have 56. I will go with 28 for this one. Okay, this looking good. All right, for my third and last font, the body font, I'm going to add my fantasy font. Okay, so this is the one I use for accent text uh, and it is called Gochi Hand. So I'm going to find it right here in the search box. So Gochi Hand. Hand. It's a handwritten font. Okay, and I'm going to make this slightly bigger than 12. Let's say 18. All right, tapping out of this box. And now we can see we have created our brand kit. We don't have a logo, but we can import one easily if needed. But we do have a nice color palette made out of three colors. I could go further. If I'm a pro user, I have more options. If you are on the free plan, you will only have three. Uh, but also I have my fonts right there. All right, so now you're done with your brand kit. Everything is all set up. There's no need to save. Just uh, click any other button like the home button. And for the sake of this exercise, I want to show you if I go back to the menu, back to the brand kit, you see everything is here. It's ready for you to be used in the editor and start designing, which is exactly what we are going to do in the next video. Keep your designs consistent and work faster by keeping all of your colors, visuals and fonts in your brand kit.